Now over here, what I have, the figure shows a simplified form of hydraulic press. A force of 20 newton is applied to the smaller piston of area 0 0.1, 0 0.010 meter square. So what I have here is 20 newton, and this is 0 0.010 meter square. The larger piston has an area of 0 0.30 meter square. So here we have 0 0.30 meter square. Calculate the pressure exerted on the liquid by the smaller piston. So you are asked to calculate the pressure of liquid by the smaller piston and that will be the 20 newton and the 0 0.01 meter square so the pressure equals force over area which is equals to 20 over 0 0.010 which is equals to 2,000 Newton per meter square. So the pressure exerted by the small piston is actually 2,000 Newton per meter square. B. Calculate the pressure exerted on the larger piston. Now you learned earlier on the second line. The pressure is if the pressure is applied to an enclosed liquid, the pressure is transmitted equally to all parts of the liquid. So the pressure is transmitted from the small piston to the large piston. So that means the pressure on the larger piston has to be 2000 Newton per meter square because pressure is transmitted equally in all parts of the liquid. So C. Calculate the load that can be lifted. If I already know the pressure at the larger piston is 2000, so it's P equals F over A. So that's 2000 equals 0 0.3 F. F equals Six hundred newtons. So I want you to take a conscious effort to look at this. My force is only twenty newton, and it's lift the load of six hundred newtons. So isn't this a force magnifier? Next, if the smaller piston is pushed down 60 cm, how much would the larger piston move? Now this will be interesting because we are going to use something which you covered in the previous lesson. It's much easier. Something you covered in the previous lesson. We're going to use principle of conservation of energy to solve this problem. Well, you can use displacement of volume. The volume of oil displaced at the smaller piston equals the volume of oil added to the larger piston. Okay, that, should be, that should be easy for you all, but for now, I'm going to use the principle of moments. Now, for a start, let's record all the essential info first. The load I have, 600 newtons. Now let's erase the values to give more space. By principle of conservation of energy, work done by small piston equals work done 
by large piston. So work done by small piston. F1, D1, large piston will be F2, D2. Now the smaller piston is pushed down 60 cm. 60 cm. So 20. I can use 60 cm here because I'm not really going to calculate energy. Right? I'm not really going to calculate energy. So if I'm going to leave 60 cm here, I just have to make sure my final answer D2 must be in centimeters. F2 will be 600 D2. So D2 equals 2.0 centimeters. So there you go. By using principle of conservation of energy, I can actually get this problem solved. Right, so the answer is 2.0 centimeters. If you are not convinced, fine, we'll use displacement approach. We'll use displacement method. Now let me erase all this. Right, we ignore this. We use displacement approach. Okay. Volume at small piston equals volume at large piston. So volume at small piston, you have 0 0.01 times again I'm not really going to calculate the distance I'm not really going to calculate the volume so I just leave it at 60 cm equals volume at the large piston will be 0 0.3 times D2 so D2 equals 2.0 cm so by displacement of volume method, I still can get D2. So that'll be all for hydraulic press. Uh, we're going to continue on the next lesson to uh, uh, pressure in a liquid uh, using a barometer. And from there, we derive a new formula, P equals H rho G. Uh, see you again later. Bye.